This is episode 2 from my recent trip to the top of Langfoss. If you haven't seen episode 1 yet, I recommend watching that one first before this one. If you for some reason really don't want to see episode 1, here is a quick recap. I hiked all the way to the top of Langfoss, pitched a tent and took some images overlooking the edge of Langfoss. Headed back to camp, ate dinner and headed back out to photograph the sunset. And that's where I am right now. So I found this beautiful composition and I'm using my long lens and I'm pointing it directly towards that little we in the middle of the mountains there. And the sun is about to enter that spot and I'm all ready to capture it. Two second shutter delay. That's not bad. Such a beautiful evening. You can't ask for more. You really can't. So I'm just about ready to start my uh, panorama, but I'm not entirely sure where where I want to start and where I want to finish. So I'm currently kind of working up a scheme. I'm thinking starting here and moving all the way over there. That might be weird. I might do two of them. My other option is just using the upper mountains and the sky above it. And then I'll decide after when I see it on the big screen. Hmm, that sounds like a better plan. All right, let me just level my tripod and then we're gonna do the panorama. So finish lining up the tripod. Yeah, the tripod is has had a bumpy ride. I think I've wrecked it a bit on Svalbard, so it's not acting its best, so to speak. Uh, it has had seen better days, but I'm fairly certain it's still good enough to do the job. So let's do this and see what comes out of it. I think I'm all, almost done with photography for today. I'm really, really tired. And uh, I burned through two batteries and I need to preserve some batteries for tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna say good night and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's way too stupid o'clock. Way too stupid o'clock. But I slept like a champion and I'm off to find the sunrise. So the show has definitely started. So I need to see what I can make of it. I'm thinking another panorama, to be honest. Better get to work. Better get to work. I forgot my filter pouch in the tent. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Well, well, nothing to do about it. Nothing to do about it. Here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing a panorama. I'm shooting three images. One 250, one 100 of a second, and one 20 of a second. And I'm gonna bracket each of those frames and stitch them together 
So it's a kind of a four times four, 16 image panorama. And uh, I think it will work really, really well. I really should try to do this more often. It's a good feeling standing on a mountain at five o'clock in the morning, watching the sun hit the peaks around you and witness the dawn of a new day. I'm really hungry, by the way. something very appealing about that leading river inwards and uh, starting to get a bit of a light soon hopefully and if that catches on fire this is one 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 nice shot so I'm just gonna wait now and uh, when it catches on fire I'm gonna be ready so I'm about 12 millimeter in to the frame shooting in a vertical composition using the uh, the river as a leading line upwards and uh, still looks good still waiting for the light but I think it's gonna work in terms of setting when the times arrive I'm still think I'm just gonna bracket three exposures because I stupidly still forgot my filter pouch in the camp I think it's happening if you can see at the peaks now there are starting to form a beautiful little soft light. All right, time to get ready. Whoa, over there as well. Tonight, when I was going to bed, I felt like it's, this is going to be a cold night. So I decided to sleep with my clothes on. And I jumped in my sleeping bag and I huddled together. And outside, the wind picked up speed. It was blowing in a tent. It was all these noises. And I had trouble falling asleep. Eventually, I did, and I slept like a baby. And then my alarm went off and I was so kind of on the verge of being too cold that like I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag. <laughs> Please don't make me. But you just got to do it and I'm really glad I did because what I'm witnessing now is quite simply fantastic. It's the dawn of a new day, the light hitting the mountains. What a show, what a feeling. And why don't I do this more often? After I got back to camp, I made myself a quick breakfast and some coffee and I went back to sleep. And I slept like a baby for four hours. And when I woke up, this is what awaits me. This is simply fantastic. I think it's about time to head back to civilization because I'm almost out of food and I have no cell phone coverage on my mobile. So I need to let my wife know that I'm alive. That's way up on the to-do list. And uh, yeah, the fact that I'm running out of food is, uh, is a no-no. So I need to get back down from the mountain before I'm completely drained of energy. But if I brought my fishing gear I could fish but I don't think that much ahead. But my brother he would love this. I need to take him here as well. 
All right, let's pack up. So yesterday, I was driving this road here, E134, until I got to Langfoss, where I parked my car here, approximately. That's where I parked my car. And then I went up here, pretty steep climb, not that far, but really, really steep. Until there, that's where I camped. And then I followed the river over here and I went up. I took my images of Langfoss right there. So it was a good, good hike yesterday. People claim it's uh, more tough to go downhill than uphill and although I understand where they're coming from I don't think so yet but by all means my legs can give in any minute now I'm spending much less time on the descent than the ascent because I don't videotape every action I make I'm just focusing on not taking my foot where it doesn't belong so to speak because the rocks are slippery and my backpack is very heavy so it's easy to do a bad footing and fall I've almost fallen three times so far but somehow I managed there she is again look at her well over halfway down from the mountain and it's going really well no issues there I've stumbled into this really lush green birch forest or uh, density of trees and I see one kind of tree trunk which is dead and it's standing like poof. and around it there are freshly saplings of the birch creating this really green 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 more green and I think it's a really interesting photograph so I have gone a bit backwards and I'm focused directly on the tree trunk and I made sure that everything around it it's green as much as I can because that's the whole idea that even if you're old and withered you're surrounded by life I guess I'm shooting at the lowest aperture you can get with this lens when it's all zoomed in and that's f4.0 and I'm at 200th of a second. I'm having a two second shutter delay on because it's kind of wobbly ground I'm on. This is the place where I started filming for this trip, so it seems a decent place to end filming as well. 
I want to thank you for joining me on this trip. It has been a new, unique experience. It's not often that I wake up alone on a mountain in time for the sunrise without having to climb at first in the pitch dark and just to eat food outside, make a fire, sit and think by the rocks, just watching the running water, just watching it, just watching it. Running waters. That's the name of this series. That's the name. When I explore every waterfalls, running waters. This is running waters. First running waters. Where were I? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, just sitting on the rock, just looking out and just calming down. There was no cell phone reception up there. No nothing. So I had. It was just me. Just me. And I managed to climb up even higher to upload my Instagram stories. <laughs> if you if you follow me there, you can see them. Uh, so that was uploading those was a bit of a pain, <laughs> but it's all fun. It's all fun. So again, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate every single kind word you leave in the comment section. I read them all and I respond to them all. So take care of each other. I'll see you next Thursday. Har det fint, alle sammen. Join me next Thursday when I explore Husedalen Valley in Chinsavik, widely considered to be one of Norway's most beautiful hikes. Oh.